Have your parents ever told you not to put your feet on the dashboard of the car? Well, next time they do, instead of asking them why, ask them why it's called a dashboard. And if they don't know, after today's show, you'll be able to tell them. What, what in the word? Where did the term dashboard come from? Think about the form of transportation that preceded automobiles, horse-drawn carriages. A horse's hooves could kick up a lot of dirt, leaving the people in the wagon behind them in the dust. Well, covered in it anyway. So most carriages were built with a board at the front to block any mud and debris that might be dashed up. Then in the early 1900s, horses were traded out for motors and dashboards became instrument panels, housing sensors like speedometers and gas gauges. In more recent times, those analog instruments have turned digital. The function of this panel has evolved over the years, but the name hasn't changed. We still call it a dashboard, or sometimes just shortened to dash. Oh, and the word car? It's a shortening of the word carriage. Dr. Claire Straith was a Detroit plastic surgeon who often treated victims of automobile accidents. He advocated for padded dashboards to provide a bit more cushion for drivers if they were to get in an accident. And eventually, padded dashes became widespread. Airbags, which are often housed in the dashboard, were government mandated beginning in 1998. And you'll never guess where we get the term airbag. Just kidding, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's just a bag of air, essentially. But I had you going for a second, didn't I? Today, we also have a more modern version of a dashboard, an organized display of data. And to think that comes from this. What, what in the word? If you like that story, do me a favor, tap the like and subscribe button below. And if you really liked it, check out the full show free for a week. Just head over to worldwatch.news forward slash free video.